When it comes to money, we're dealing with an issue that makes or breaks relationships that can have us on the street or have us in a nice house um, that literally uh, gets the food that, that feeds us each day. Uh, it's an important issue. Um, and, but one thing I, I always think about is that I want money to facilitate life, not be the end goal. Um, when we have opportunities, I talk a lot about setting ourselves up for those opportunities. And of course, money is one of those things that, that you have to have to take advantage of a lot of opportunities. Um, so as you think about your opportunities and the skills that you need to have to be, to be ready to take advantage of all those opportunities, one thing I want to talk about is um, finances and, and, and money. Um, I am not uh, a financial consultant. I do not uh, plan to give you any stock tips or anything like that. Um, I might talk about what I do a bit. Um, with the, the little that I have, truly uh, little um, at this point. Um, but let's talk first about where our money savviness comes from. Um, it's, it's a lot of the things in life um, are not something that we can take credit for. They have to do with the family we grew up in, the environment we grew up in, the church, all the training, the societal training, um, some genetics, um, of course. But as I say that, on one hand, I also want to say that it's still your responsibility, what you're left with, what you have here. Um, at this point in your life, you may have been treated poorly, uh, you may have not been trained uh, correctly, you may not have had the same background, but it's your responsibility to pick up wherever you are and to take advantage of, of what you can in life. Um, and if you don't and aren't willing to do that, then there's not much people can do to help you. So you have to be open from where, from the point in your life that um, where you exist and say, okay, from this point on, I'm on equal footing. I can ask for help just like anybody else. Um, and I will. And so on the one hand, I, I do want to emphasize that we've had different background. And so some of us are ahead of the game. We have two steps forward. Um, on the other hand, I want to say that you must take responsibility for the rest of your life, for where you're going from now on. Um, and so when it comes to money, a lot of that has to do with what we saw our parents do, how they trained us to handle money, um, how they saved, how they spent. Um, and I guess I'll share a little bit about um, about what what I was trained to do and um, I'll deviate from that a bit when I think it's important um, when I've made a change that goes against how I was raised. Um, so um, I don't think you should live like you were poor unless you are poor. Um, and so uh, this, this video is difficult to make because I, I'm talking to a lot of different people at all different sorts of pay scales um, and backgrounds. But if you have very little money, you need to live like it. If you have a moderate to high amount of money, then you need to be frugal. Um, I'm a big fan of being frugal. Um, now, when I talk about spending money, I, I, I do. I say always price compare. Always look for the best deal. Be willing to wait. Don't get trigger happy on Amazon. Um, look at your options. Think about, could I do this myself? And if you could, think about how much money you make and if the amount of money you would make doing something else exceeds 
what you would have to pay somebody to do, like say, clean your house. If you could be making more money doing something else while someone's cleaning your house, that needs to be what you do, probably. Um, unless you really enjoy cleaning your house, then do it. But you have to maximize your earning potential um, by spending your time doing what you're best at. Um, so that's, that's one place to start, is thinking about where is my time the most financially beneficial.